We're at Barclays Center tonight as the Nets get set for back-to-back -back home games. Very rare. And only in these days, Capri, do we see the same opponent come into Barclays Center for two games in a row. I don't think it's ever happened. But with the league trying to limit the amount of travel that these teams have to do during these COVID days, they figure if a team has to play another team in another city twice, let's bring them in, see if we can get both games out of the way. And they'll play today. And then on New Year's Day, we'll be right back here at 7.30 at night. For in overtime on Monday, it was a 116-111 loss. But, Tim, you know, I love old westerns. I oh. even love some of the new westerns. Where are you going with this? Well, you know, sometimes when the, 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 uh, the sheriff went out of town, the bad guys came in and kind of took advantage of things. And then, you know, you wait for the... The cavalry to arrive, right? That's oh. when the old term came from the old westerns and everything, right? When you're a little disadvantaged, you wait for the cavalry to arrive. <laughs> and, and the Nets, they get the cavalry back here tonight as Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving come riding back into town on their white horse. <laughs> and, and, and they'll see if they can save the day because as good as the Nets without Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, you know, as, as well as those guys have played, and we've seen them before, you know, all of last year have to kind of overachieve and really grind out wins. We saw the bubble nets last year have so much success. As, as, as much as we love seeing that, boy, when, when Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant are in the fold, and we saw that in the first three games this year, it's a different story. Uh, no doubt about it. I don't think uh, you're breaking any ground there, but I, I like the, uh, the, uh, the Western reference. That was good. The, um, listen, they're back. Uh, they have a couple. They had their game off, both of them. They, they should be fresh right now. Uh, different guys have been able to get an opportunity, like TLC and, and company, to get, get an opportunity to play. Uh, it's, you know, this is this game becomes. You know, they're not important. You know, they're not so important right now. But I don't. This is a big, challenging night for the uh, for the Brooklyn Nets against the Atlanta Hawk team. That is one of the really impressive uh, teams so far in the NBA. So this is going to be a nice night to have. Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving back in the – have the Calvary back. Yeah, and the thing that the Nets – listen, they're going to have to go through more than a handful of games this year, probably without Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. They're trying to keep those guys fresh for the postseason. They're playing a little more of a condensed schedule, even though it's only 72 games this year, not your usual 82 games. They're trying to do it in a smaller period of time. So – they're going to play without those guys for, for a bunch of games this year. They're going to have to establish an identity without those players. Because you don't want to just, you know, give up those games. You want to try and win those games. And it seemed like the other night, they're still trying to search for what that is. It, it's kind of Karis LeBert-centric. Yes. But I think the other guys are going to have to play a bigger role in trying to win those games when they don't have all the stars. Yeah, absolutely. And, and they, there are guys there, and a lot has been made of the Nets' depth. There are guys that have had an opportunity to play so far in the NBA. Some some guys that have been starters that haven't even gotten off the bench yet, uh, they just got to figure out where everything fits. I think this is what the first... 10, 15 games are good. Maybe even 20 games, Chris. I don't think you can figure out the NBA or your team for a little while. And it's not just where your stars are. It's where the entire team is. Yeah, listen, that was as condensed a preseason as you could possibly.